Hi booktubers, it's Andy from Estella's Revenge and I'm back today with my very first book haul since I've started this channel and I'm really excited. I don't usually buy a lot of books. I have a shelf behind me that is the books that I will keep, reread, or teach and typically those are the only books that I let stay in the house. Uh, the others will go to Half Price Books which is a used bookstore in this part of the U.S. Um, because I just don't have a ton of space. And so it really seems like the best decision to let most of the books I read go, unless they're really, really something special. And so the majority of what you'll find on the shelf behind me are favorites that I've read through the years or classics, because I always feel like classics are worth keeping. They are the books that I probably reread most often. So with that in mind, and from all of you and watching your channels and being... Uh, enabled from watching your channels. I went on a bit of a book buying jag and a book acquiring jag this month and in particular I bought a lot of classics. I have fallen madly in love with a lot of Penguin edition books and so while I had some in my collection I've added a very large number this month I have to tell you. So this is not a new edition. This is the Penguin Deluxe Classics Great Expectations. And I've had this book in my collection for a few years now. Great Expectations, as you might imagine from my handle, Estella's Revenge, is one of my favorite books. And so I own several different editions of that. Um, but that book in particular was the one that really made me fall in love with the Penguin Deluxe Classics. And so when I found those in a local bookstore, mm, I'd say a week or so ago, I kind of decided that since I have an eye to reading more classics in the near future, that I would upgrade some of my existing copies to new editions that are prettier and more attractive, or that I would add some new books to my collection. Um, I've also recently joined the Classics Club and made a list of 55 classics that I would like to read within the next five years, hopefully even sooner. So a lot of these books will count toward that as well. So. The first books on the haul. I've seen this book, this particular edition of Jane Eyre, pop up a lot in BookTube. And so this is the Penguin Deluxe Classics Edition of Jane Eyre. Uh, and this is the cover designed by Ruben Toledo, a fashion designer and illustrator. And I just think it's brilliant. I think these covers are very moody and they're just beautiful. What else can you say? Um, the inside covers, the inside flaps, are just as impressive. And I can't stop touching and playing with these books. Now, I have read Jane Eyre previously, except for the last 30 pages. And I don't know what happened. I was younger, I had a crappy copy that I accidentally stole from a high school classroom and I never read the last 30 pages because I really know what happens in the story already and so maybe that's why I laid it aside. But I think with this copy in my collection I'm much more likely to pick it up for what would be mostly a reread and finally finish it off so I can count it as a read book. I also picked up a Penguin Deluxe Classics edition of Dracula, and I think this is stunning. I love this color scheme. I love the illustrations. There's nothing I don't adore about this book. It's just beautiful. And Dracula is one of those books that I read in part many, many years ago, and I laid it aside and did not finish, which is a tragedy because I know I will love it. I love the part that I've read, and so I have to finish this book. I also picked up The Picture of Dorian Gray, and this was one of the finds uh, that I got a week or two ago from Book People in Austin, Texas. They have the most extensive collection of Penguin editions, many different editions, that I've ever seen, including the deluxe classics. So I was looking for out of that whole penguin display, I was looking for a book that I hadn't read, that I really wanted to read, and that was also really, really beautiful. And this one really seemed to fit the bill because I've never read The Picture of Dorian Gray. I've never read Oscar Wilde, which is a tragedy in itself. So I can't wait to tackle this book. And now, moving on, I also fell in love with another penguin collection, and those are the penguin threads. And these are stunning. I mean, these 
these are even more intricate than the Deluxe Classics. And so we have The Wizard of Oz, and it has a couple of other books included as well. It has The Emerald City of Oz and Glinda of Oz included as well. So you have the inside flaps, but I think my very favorite part is the back of the cover. You have the back stitching, and it's just gorgeous. So yeah, I've read The Wizard of Oz many, many times. I've never read any of the other books in the Oz series, and so this seemed like one to really have on my shelves as a keeper. I have also read The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And I enjoyed it a great deal. Um, I was a little bit perturbed at the ending, as I've mentioned here before. But this also seemed like a book that I really wanted to keep. And I had an older, less attractive copy of it. So I really couldn't pass up this beautiful Penguin Threads edition. And I just love that the covers and all of the, the surfaces on these books are textured, like the stitching. And yeah, I just think they're brilliant. I think it's a great idea. I have also read and enjoyed Emma by Jane Austen, and since this was available as the Threads edition, I thought I would upgrade my existing paperback, and I also have read this one digitally, and the digital book was horrible. It was from Google Books, and it was a freebie, and it had lots of typos and lots of errors and stuff, so I thought it was really, really worth upgrading to something nicer. So yeah, these are incredible, and I'm not even... Sad that I added them to my collection, that I spent full price on them. They are fabulous. And I do intend to add The Wind and the Willows uh, to my collection. I've never liked Little Women. It's available in a Threads edition, so I'm a little bit on the fence about that one. And Black Beauty, because I've never really had any inclination to read Black Beauty. So, we'll see. Also, I picked up... And this is from Dial Press. This is not a Penguin edition. Um, Kurt Vonnegut's Galapagos. I have had Slaughterhouse-Five on my stacks for years and years and years and years and years. And truthfully, it doesn't even sound like something I would like. However, Galapagos sounds amazing. Um, just to read you a little bit of the blurb. Galapagos takes the reader back one million years to A.D. 1986. A simple vacation cruise suddenly becomes an evolutionary journey. Thanks to an apocalypse, a small group of survivors stranded on the Galapagos Islands are about to become the progenitors of a brave, new, totally different human race. And I can't turn that down. <laughs> I love kind of post-apocalyptic books, dystopian perhaps. Um, and so, yeah, I thought this might be a good place for me personally to start with Vonnegut's work. And last but not least, I upgraded my copy of Rebecca. I was complaining in my previous video, or a previous video, that I didn't like my nasty red mass market edition that I see everywhere. And so Chelsea and I, from Chelsea and a Book, are going to be reading Rebecca together in August. And so I thought it was worth springing for a new copy. And I really wanted the Virgo hardcover. Uh, that's listed on Book Depository, but it's not in stock. So I went ahead and picked up this copy from my local Barnes & Noble, and this is from Harper. It's still much improved in size and quality from my other paperback. So I'm really looking forward to reading Rebecca. I can't believe I haven't read it before. It's high time that I finish this book. And there are a couple of classics in the mail to me right now. I picked up a copy, the Penguin English Library edition of Northanger Abbey from Book Depository. It will be one that I'll also tackle in August. There is an Austin in August event happening over on blogs, and I know there is one here at Booktube as well. So I need to investigate the one here at Booktube a little bit more, but I'll link the Austin in August event that's happening through blogs uh, down below in the description. I also couldn't help myself. I saw a beautiful 25th edition copy of Matilda by Roald Dahl at the Book Depository. So since I was already ordering Northanger Abbey, I added that one to my cart as well. So they should arrive next week and I'm really excited to get my hands on those. So this has turned into a really long video. I just wanted to share with you what's come into my house as far as classics. I will have an additional book haul video coming up in the next few days where I will show you the rest of the books that have come into my house this month. It's been a very bookish month. So stay tuned and I will be back with more very soon. Bye.